Hello and welcome back to the channel folks, this is your boy Stoic Warrior and for today's video is another video from World of Tanks Blitz. For this video for World of Tanks, uh, I'm gonna be talking about two of the most uh, used tank destroyers in the game. One is the Grill 15 from the German tech tree, the tier 10 Grill 15 tank destroyer and the second one we're gonna be talking about is the is the tier 10 tank destroyer for the British line, the FV215B 183, also known as the Death Star amongst the World of Tank Blitz aficionados. Why? Well, you're soon gonna find out why it's called the Death Star. But anyways, uh, with all of that said, I've got two games to show you: one for the Grill 15 and one for the FV215B 183, which I'm going to be referring more to as the Death Star in this uh, video. So. With all that said, let's get on with the show, folks. For our first game, we're going to be looking at the Grill 15, the tier 10 German tank destroyer. And the map it's being played at is at Middleburg. Now, this game is, uh, this was a match was played by my friend Roger Toto. So, and I'm, uh, I'm in a... I'm his platoon mate alongside this game. I'm currently in the VK-72 and uh, currently, let's see what happens. Now the grill. I've also made a few other videos about the grill as well, back before as well, but let's talk about this thing. Well, Now what this thing is, it's basically a tank destroyer with a mean gun. It's fast, it's agile, it's sleek, it's, it's got really good accuracy really good accuracy and a really good uh, penetration it can almost pen uh, anything up front every almost every heavy tank every other tank destroyer every other medium well let's not count the mediums and the lights but they tend to have less armor but what I'm talking about is it can easily penetrate any of the tanks in the game all right Dodo has currently captured a on Middleburg and he's heading straight up for the OBJ OBJ 268 okay he's behind the House. All right. There's an LBJ 704. Straight nasty shot. The LBJ 704 missed total. All right. What the thing about the grill is that uh, the grill almost has no armor on it, so uh, tanks tend to use high explosive shell on this thing. It's basically a buffet for many of the tanks to use high explosive shells. So what you gotta be do, what you gotta do in this tank is you gotta be actually be careful whilst using this tank because you don't want. Uh, you don't want tanks firing high explosive shells at you, and on average, uh, for example, okay, OBJ268, I'm taking the one shot, and Dodo has taken out the OBJ268. And uh, now, um, on average, uh, the on average medium tanks and light tanks tend to have an average um, roll of around. Five, uh, close to 500 using the high explosive shells. I'm, uh, I'm talking about tier 10 medium tanks or light tanks. They tend to use the 120 millimeter guns. Now, and many of the heavy tanks also have an average roll of around 600 using the high explosive uh, oh, oh, on the 122 mm guns. For example, the IS-7, the IS-4 tanks like that. I shot by grill. The leopard weapons have been taken out. So what they basically do is, on average, they fire about a, on AP they fire about a 400 alpha roll damage, but with high explosive they usually do a 600 alpha roll. That is a pretty nice shot on the IS-10 by Dota. Put him on fire over there. And uh, tanks that have uh, bigger guns with the 150 millimeter guns, such as many of the tank destroyers, such as the Grill itself or um, the VK VK series or the other. Um, or the other uh, tank destroyers such as the Hori and the OBJ268 etc. Uh, they tend to do an average roll of 800 and a maximum roll of 1200. The high explosive and the grill only has 1700 po hit points. So if it's best not to get caught in those high explosive shells. Okay, that's what you see the Vickers used a high explosive shell on Toto here. He did in a uh, 550 points of damage. He again fired the high explosive but he fired in all his chassis. Nice shot by Toto. Oh, only 23 points health left on the Wickers. I'm also one. Sh I'm almost one shot at this point. Both of the enemy tanks are at are at me 
medi meager health. We'll just need one shot to be destroyed and... Dodo is moving in for the kill. I, yep, he's moving in for the Wickers. Lining it up and yo! Dodo got lucky, the IS-7 missed him. And the best place to actually use the high explosive is on the turret fins of the... Drill. Eight rounds used. IS-7 destroyed. Nice, nice, very nice gameplay by Toto here. Now, okay, that's an ace tanker by Toto with 5.2k uh, damage. Four tanks destroyed. He also capped a base. That also proved towards his uh, extra XP to help him get the ace tanker. Also put two tanks on fire. That's also what? So 5.2k points of damage from Toto for four kills uh, and three point. In, in this game, I did about 3.8k points of uh, damage and two tanks destroyed. Alright, we've seen what the grill can do and about the grill, but this was just a uh, small sum of, of what the grill actually is. Now, the, you just need, it's a snipe, you can play aggressively with it, but it's best used, in, uh, you can use it aggressively if your heavy tanks are actually advancing alongside you uh, solo. It cannot do the. It cannot be that aggressive, but it's also a very good sniper because it is very. It has a very accurate gun, almost the most accurate gun in the entire game. All right. With that said, now let's move on towards our second game for the FV215B 183, also known as the Death Star. For the second game, the with the Death Star. Currently playing on Hellas. Uh, now in this game, this game is being uh, is being played by another friend of mine, Agent Locke. And for any of you Halo aficionados over there, I think you know where the character is driven from. All right, uh, I'm actually not in this game, so let's see what happens. And currently on Hellas. Now the Death Star, the tier 10 tank destroyer of the British line. Now, what, why is this thing called the Death Star? First of all, it's got a 180mm gun. With that gun, using just the armor-piercing round, the AP rounds, it has an average damage of about 930. That's the average damage, folks. The average damage. It does more average damage than many of the tanks out there that do it with high exp on high explosive shells. But this thing's got a got hash as well now what hash is it's basically high explosive shells but hash shells have higher penetration than the uh, high explosive shells but they basically have the same purpose as the high explosive shell but just have better penetration more penetration that means that there are many more places or many more spots that the death star can use um, hash shells to actually decimate its targets and if you've already figured it out, now look, he's using hash. 1180. 1180. That's around 1100, 1200 is the average high explosive slash hash shell damage that this thing outputs. Will Smith, 150. And this is the only tank with the 180 millimeter guns. And that's the average damage this thing can pull. And this. Mm, and many of the other tanks, even the 150 millimeter ones, 1220. That was a hash shell. 1220 points of damage to the AMX 50B right up front in the face. No other tank can use high explosive shells at the front of any tank. Almost any, well, especially heavy tanks. Now look, underplate of the Jack Panzer is almost visible because of the hash shells. 1402 points of damage to the Jack Panzer. Though the Jack Panzer also got a good shot, two agent lock, but 1402. Hesh. This thing is basically. Well, that's why it's called a Death Star. Whenever you see this thing's gun pointing at you, you know you're about. you're in a world of pain now. Alright, that shot got botched. Because it hit the Kronwagen's tracks. But even a bot shot did about f approximately 500. It was 470, approximately 500 points of damage. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 
considering what many of the other tanks would have done an average roll of around 200 at that point this thing did almost to more than twice about 250 percent of that almost are you still looking at that and 1151 that was a very risky maneuver now Locke is only left with 46 points of health now he's in a pretty serious situation the only downside of this tank is that it cannot rotate its gun apart from 45 degrees to the right or to the left it doesn't have a fully rotary gun and it has that 20 second long reload and the armor on this thing is uh, okay okay it's not that superb it's actually basically the high explosive pen high explosive pen and the average armor piercing or high explosive damage that this thing has that's what actually sells this thing and with this thing you cannot actually play that aggressive you gotta stand behind you gotta stay behind your forces and try to pick out shots where you can find it find some shots now there are two tanks around Locke and he's in a pretty serious situation because these guys are getting planked okay nice shot by Locke he's taken out the Sheridan now only the Kronwagen is left now Locke is reloading but the Kronwagen can withstand the hit from an IS-4 and he's actually advancing towards the IS-4 but the problem is the Kronwagen okay IS-4 washed his shot and the problem is that Kronwagen is an auto -lock. now yes Locke made a small mistake he should not have come out hull front he should have uh, side scraped in order to get the in order to get the shot of the crown wagon because why that thing is an auto loader and a auto reloader act in fact because it can reload uh, whilst its magazine is still no, uh, not completely used but then nonetheless even with a loss even with a defeat he managed to take out an ace tanker with 6.3k points of damage and four tanks destroyed it was still a very superb effort very good game played by Locke only in the end he just made a small mistake and it costed the victory but still a uh, very good game played and well now you've seen why we actually call this thing the death star because of that <laughs> insane amount of damage can output in a single shot that's going to be all for today's video folks hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like and comment down in the section below and also don't forget to, sub to subscribe to the channel for more weekly content and if you want to check out more content from me either regarding apex legends halo Titanfall, etc make sure to check out my instagram i'll leave the link down in the description below and once again peace out